What's up, space pirates? This is your captain, the ever-charming Dr. Disaster. And they say that when someone tells you who they are, you should believe them. Well, I'm an idiot. Agreed. In this case, we're looking at Capcom, because once again, with the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, the developers of this game just keep on censoring it in ways that make it clear that they are more interested in slinging propaganda and pandering to the so-called modern audience than making a product that people will enjoy. They've changed the line delivered by one of the game's psychopaths so they don't paint communism in a bad light. Oh boy, we'd hate to do that. This new censorship is blatant to the point that if anyone ever tries to argue with you that no, actually, modern developers aren't activists, well, you can point to this game as a prime example showing them that these people are absolutely activists and you can give anyone foolish enough to argue otherwise a much needed wake up call. Hey, uh, what's that you got on your face? Huh? See how that works? Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I keep a list of games, lousy with woke, and DEI shit pinned to my account for your reference, my handle on there is Dr. Disaster one But anyhow, let's look at this censorship that's going on with Dead Rising, it seems like every other day at this point we are learning something new that they've changed in this game. First, they race swapped one of the psychopaths that you have to fight in the game. They switched Larry Chang, who was a chef for a Chinese restaurant, so that now he's a white dude. Because these are pandering activists. And then we learned the other day that the game has removed the erotica photography options in the game because I'm sure that it made all the childless cat ladies and screeching harpy feminists out there really upset. I'm not sure when it happened exactly, but somewhere along the line, these woke D-bags out there became prudes. They became the moral Puritans that I despised way back in the day when I was a kid in the 90s, trying to sell the nonsense that video games turn kids into bad people and censoring lyrics and songs and all that crap. Well, somehow the worm has turned. These same people who try to tell us that we need to be tolerant of everything have shown us that actually there are things out there that they find disagreeable. And now that they have the institutional power, they're going to use it to remove the stuff that they don't like. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. But let me show you this new censorship. I'm going to show you a clip from the original game. This is when Frank West runs into the psychopath Cliff Hudson, who was a Vietnam vet. This is their original meeting in the original game. Name and rank, soldier! You can't tell me, can you, fella? Oh yeah, I know why. It's because you're Viet Cong. I'm right. Aren't I? You are nothing but a filthy communist. All right, so now you have the context out of the way. So here is the same meeting in the new game. It was revealed in a short clip the other day showing off the evil bunny suit that Frank can wear in this new version of the game. You will easily spot the difference. Yeah. Are nothing but a filthy animal! Uh, what the hell is that? There's only one reason for these people to have changed that line. They don't want to offend anyone who likes communism. But ask yourself this, do you think they'd have any problems whatsoever with a character trashing capitalism? 
Yeah, of course not, because these people are definitely activists with a very particular agenda. But rather than write something new to push their ideas into, which I can respect even if I don't like their shit ideas, but rather than write something new, they instead have hijacked this franchise and they are pushing crap that nobody wants into it. I suppose I can't blame them too much though, since every time one of these studios tries to push woke shit into a new IP, it fails miserably. Games like Concord, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, and Dustborn are all either failing or they're about to fail when they release in a few weeks. And we aren't talking little failures either. Nobody is buying these shitty, woke games at all. So I can understand why they would want to avoid making new IPs for their woke garbage. I understand why they are attempting to shove their shitty ideas and disguise them, hide them, into products that people already liked. I understand why they would do it, but I have no respect for these people People that are hollowing out older stuff that people actually like and using it as a platform to push their goofy ideas onto everyone else. I have no respect for that. Therefore, I have no respect for this Dead Rising remaster. But I'm gonna leave it there. Drop your mockery of these activist shit heels into the comment section below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.